This is a Raptor truck bed liner. And putting the actual liner on wasn't too difficult. It took one day in December, one day in January, because it had to be at a certain temperature. The hard part, though, was getting the seal coat off of this. Oh. It took me weeks of scraping and sanding and scraping and sanding to get the seal coat off. You have no idea how good that seal coat is on vehicles. <laughs> wow. So, if, and if you don't have that, take that seal coat off, it just won't it stick? It won't stick. Oh. So you got to take it right off. Every little nook and cranny, it has to come off. Well, it <laughs> turned great. out incredibly well. Back here, I put my Max Air fan in the back window because I was afraid to put it back up on the roof with it being so old and fragile. Oh, gotcha. And there's also an additional benefit to this is that when you put a, a, a fan on the roof, you get your airflow up and down. This way it goes all the way through or it pulls it all the way through. Oh, so it's more directional. And, yeah, and I've got a vent on the top. So I've got the vent and I've got the windows. So I can get a really good airflow going through here. Oh, that's great. And so the yeah. other fan that was ripped out, you just replaced this, it with a vent. No, this is the one that was ripped. Oh. It broke the roof is what happened. Oh. So okay. when I got back home, I, I took it off and put it here. And this is two sheets of diamond plate with wow. Reflectix in between. Oh, wow. So it's a good barrier. Yeah. So in here, this is my garage. It used to be a really old generator that came with the van, but it never worked. So I took that out and I used this for my garage. And I've got two five-pound propane tanks in there that I use for my heater. Some tools and some odds and ends things. So, yeah. come on in. Okay, all the way in the back is um, my Max Air fan. Oh yeah. So you can see where it can pull the air both directions. And then up here I have the vent. This is just a vent. And when I open it, I get a really good airflow coming through here. I have insulation up here. And there's also wallboard up here, which you can see right oh, there. Right. Um, this is wallpaper, but when my roof broke and I had water pouring in here. Oh, yikes. So I had to tape plastic up here. And when I did that, it ripped my wallpaper. Your countertops are just gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I made this. You made it yourself? <laughs> I made it. Yes. I made this whole cabinet. Everything. Originally, I was going to make this a table for sale. And then I um, started building out my van and I'm like, I'm going to put this in my van. <laughs> Excellent. So I finished it off, cut the hole for the sink, put the sink in there and built the cabinet, which has a little cutting board oh. in it. That's really nice. Yeah, I did all this. I, I built this whole thing, and I am not a, a woodworker. But you learned but how. I did. YouTube. There you go. <laughs> this is epoxy resin and spalted hickory wood. It's really nice. It's easy to clean. You kind of want to be a little bit careful if you, you don't want to cut on it. Mm, um, this one is a junk drawer. Okay, of course. Everybody has Got to have a junk drawer. Mm -hmm. This one is shoes and socks because everybody puts their shoes and socks together. Of course. <laughs> I mean, it should make sense, although no one ever does that. And then this one is um, just like utensils, um, my, my teapot, my stove wood screen, my butter, of course. and my little, I love this little thing. This is a little AeroPress for coffee. Oh, those are great. This thing is cool. This thing works so good. Yeah, I, I use one of those, I have one of those, they are great. Yeah, and it's so easy to clean up. So do you cook a lot in the van here? Not too much because I've been doing a lot of traveling. I haven't done as much as I will be going forward, but I have a little um, stove that I have outside right now. And I just set it up right here, it runs off of the butane. And I love that little stove. That thing works great. Do you have refrigeration or anything? I there? do. I, I have a fridge freezer. This is an angle. And I, right now I just have it on fridge because I'm very low on power. Yeah. So I just have it on fridge right now. But I also put Reflectix in here. Oh, super smart. Yeah, it helps a lot. And yeah. what are you using for your uh, power sources? 
Well, I can use three. I can either hook it up to shore power or I can, it also connects up to my alternator for when I'm driving. Excellent. Or I have um, portable solar panels that I'm actually in the process of trying to figure out how to make them work. Because <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know yet. <laughs> I haven't used them yet. And are you just powering like a Jackery type thing? Or a... This is a Bouge RV. And this one I think is 1200 watts, if I'm not mistaken. All right. And that's the 240. So between the two, you do okay on power? <laughs> Pretty much. Once you get the solar up and running, that'll Then probably... I'll be much better, yeah. Exactly. This is my heater here. I have a Wave 3. Oh, Olympic yeah. Olympic Wave 3. How are you liking that? I love it. I had it, uh, originally I did have it on a TV arm, mm -hmm. but I took it off of that because it didn't seem steady enough to me. All right. And it was making me nervous. So I had to put it up kind of high because of Charlie's tail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't want to get that caught in there. Ouch. Yeah. So because this whole section of the from here all the way over to here is all fiberglass. So I couldn't put any cupboards up here. So I had to get a little bit creative with storage space. Oh, yeah. So there's a lip that goes in there. So I attach this to the lip. And I put some of my um, door protector <laughs> along there so I didn't get hurt by the wire. And then I just put this up there for support. And it works pretty good. <laughs> so everybody always wants to know, how do you use the loo in your van? This yeah. is a um, foldable. As you can see, it can fold down. Oh, it, okay. folds, it folds right up. And it will go right inside of here. And how do you stay clean on the road? I have a membership to Planet Fitness, All right. the, the nationwide plan. Mm -hmm. It's $23 a month, well worth it. I can go in any Planet Fitness anywhere and take a shower. What inspired you, I guess, to, to do this, to build this? Tell me the story. Well, um, I've always been a gypsy at heart. Right. When I met my husband, like almost 30 years ago, I told him, I said, when I retire, I'm traveling. I retired and I, I didn't really know anything about van life. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know anything about it. So, of course, you know, I go on YouTube and who do I see? Bob Wells. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Same as everybody. Uh -huh. And um, I'm like, that's it. That's what I want to do. First, I had so. bought a trailer like that, like Justin's. Mm -hmm. And um, then I got, I got it home and I started to build it out and realized that I don't want to be hooking and unhooking and doing all of that all the time. Yeah. So I sold the trailer and then I went online on um, Marketplace Facebook. And for six months, literally every single day, I was looking for a van in my price range. And I finally found this one. I'm in New York. That's where my home base is, is in New York. The van was in Virginia. So what I found was um, mobile inspectors. Oh, I've never heard of that. They're located in a lot of cities. I hired them for, it was $100, and they went out and they checked out the van for me, gave it the green, sent me a whole big thick report, like almost like buying a house. It was crazy. Oh. If you go online and look for mobile inspectors, you can find them in quite a few states. That would be $100 well worth spent. It was. It was for me. Yeah, because it's a professional. It's an unbiased opinion. I've been working on this for four years. This is the third van build that I did on this van. <laughs> so it's 3.0, it's version 3.0. All right, and what has been your favorite part so far about being on the road? Meeting people. Yeah. Yeah. Great community, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. I've met some terrific people down here. Really, really nice people. And I stopped and visited some friends and family along the way. But it's giving you that freedom to travel around yes. and meet people, have your yes. own space. Right. Uh, yeah, right. That's, that's yeah. the joy of it. I love it. I love it. So I also have, along with my vent and my Max Air fan, I have a Sirocco fan. And oh. this is a 360 fan. It can go in any direction. You can, you can put it in any direction you want. Whoa. It's really cool. This is my bed, because I'm very short. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is actually like a, a chair. See, if you put this end up, you can make it into a chair. Or you can pull this out and you can have it with a footstool. 
So you could have the chair and the footstool. Oh. Or you can pull it all the way out. So this comes up and out there. And then I just oh. fold my, this is a foam mattress and I just fold it down and there's my bed. Well, now what kind of chair is that? It's something I got off of um, Amazon. So you can have it like a chaise. Yeah. Or you can put this, you can sit this up so that it's like a chair and pull this out and you have like a chaise lounge. Or you can have just a chair with a footstool or without, or you can have it in a bed mode. That is a very unique uh, way of doing it. I've never seen a bed like that, but I really like it that it collapses in on itself. Yes, yes. It's like a transformer bed. Yeah. <laughs> it used to be that I would, um, every day I would take it and put it up in chair mode and, you know, put the um, foam mattress away and all that. That got to be kind of a hassle. So now I just basically leave it like this. And then I can just sit here against my comforters that and my pillow well. and read or whatever. <laughs> and then these cupboards, I actually painted these pictures on these cupboards. Oh, wow. All right. And what do you keep in this cupboard up there? Um, over here, I just have some pots and pans. This is my privacy curtain. Oh. And this goes like... And so it's just a curtain that you put little knobs on. Yep. And... Oh, Yep, that's and then I got the, the one for the other side. Oh, that's great. And these are just blackout curtains. I'm an artist, so I brought some of my paints here. And because I have the same wiring back here, I can just pop them right in there. Oh, what kind like of paints that. are those? They're just acrylics. All right. I also have more of them in here. And then in this thing here, I have a, a ton of paintbrushes. Oh. And I mean a ton. <laughs> and then I've got things like batteries, my sewing kit, you know, things like that that I didn't really have a place for. This is Charlie's seat. That's Charlie's seat? This is Charlie's seat. <laughs> oh, perfect. That's a nice little comfortable spot. So did yeah. you remove the chair yourself? Uh, no, my husband did. All right. <laughs> it was a little bit too heavy for me. Gotcha, but you did but, no regrets on that one? No, no. In fact, I did at one point when I first started this trip, I had this built up so that I had all my clothes storage in here, but it made Charlie too high and too close to the windows. Oh. So he got really nervous. So I took that part out and just kept this part. I actually made this out of cardboard. Oh, <laughs> and it's, wow. Yeah, it's, and then this is foam on top of it. Okay. But the whole thing was made out of cardboard. It was about that thick. Very, very cool. <laughs> yeah. So if you had to guess, what do you think you've spent on the build out of this uh, vehicle? Well, I built it out three times, maybe around 5,000. I okay. don't really know because I didn't keep track of it. Yeah. But I did try to keep all my costs low and I stretched it out over four years. Perfect. So like, you know, I didn't get my refrigerator right away. I didn't get my fans right away. Just added so, to it as you yeah. needed. All yeah, right. I put traction tape up here. Like, What's that for? It's um, like when you stand on something, you know, so you don't slip. Mm -hmm. And Charlie stands up here. Oh. And so he was always sliding off. Plus, he was always hitting the window knobs. <laughs> so I built a little thing over the window knobs so he can't do that. And then I just covered the whole thing with traction tape. <laughs> what is that on that door? So this is just um, an art piece that I did. Out in the woods behind our back, there was an old bench that was disintegrating, an old red bench that was just falling apart. And I just hated to see it going to waste. So I took some of the wood and I built out this clock and then I carved this and Beautiful. put that on there. I'm assuming and that does not actually work as of what time it, it is. It will if I put a battery in there, but I don't have a battery in there. <laughs> but but it will right. work, yeah. That's super I did cool. epoxy yeah. resin on the doors. I epoxy resin those. Oh, that is gorgeous. And then this one has. Oh, it's a little table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's cool. And what is that in the back? I haven't finished this yet. This here? Yeah. That's an antique dustbin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was cool. So Patty, thank you so much for giving us a tour of your really cool green Raptor lined uh, van. 
It's one of the cooler ones I've seen out here. So thank you so much <laughs> thank for sharing. Thank you. That. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. I'm so glad you stopped by. Yeah. And again, this was just, I'm just walking through the desert. I was doing one interview and I was walking by <laughs> and I was like, I got to see that. And we just struck up a conversation. And uh, this so is my first to... ever band tour. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Yay. This is fantastic. <laughs> first ever. <laughs> So folks out there, what did you think of the van? Can you imagine doing all that work yourself? What did you think of the countertops? That was probably one of my favorite parts. It yeah. was just, I thought it was just it's a one work of, of my, art. It's one of my favorite parts too. Oh. Yeah. So folks out there, what was your favorite part? <laughs> please let us know in the comments below. If you got anything out of this video, please go ahead and share it with your friends. Give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, we'll see you all down the road. Peace out. Bye guys.